Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armel, and I wanted to wish everyone a happy holiday. Happy holidays, happy new year. I hope you have a fantastic time in the next two weeks, enjoying yourself, having wonderful meals, enjoying your family, living it up, and also resting. The end of the calendar year is a great time to not only rest and rejuvenate, but also to kind of recap and go over in your mind what happened in the prior year. Think about it. Think about the things that you want to achieve in the upcoming year, which is 2016. It's really good to have a plan of action. And the plan of action is what do you want to achieve for 2016? It's interesting because today I, I live in New York, as everyone knows, and I went today to do some last minute Christmas shopping, go to the salon and do a lot of things. And I was out in the traffic and I, and I met a lot of people like I usually do in New York and I realized for, I mean, I've, I've actually always known this, but I mean, it really hit me today how lucky I am that I don't have to commute to a job every day. I mean, I was, it took me an hour to get a cab across town to get home tonight. And I was very stressed out by the time I get home just because of the traffic. And I wasn't even driving, I was in a cab. And it, it made me realize that people deal with this every morning and every night. Every morning when they go to work and every night when they go home. And I, and I, I just, even though I got home and I was very stressed, I thought, gosh, you know, like I am so grateful that I have a career where I don't have to leave my home. I don't have to deal with that stress every day. I don't have to deal with the weather. It's pouring rainy in New York tonight. You probably can't see it, but it is, it is not nice weather, so it's difficult to get a cab and get around. And I just felt so grateful today the day before the night before Christmas for, for everything that I have. Not everything that I have, but even the career that I have. The fact that I can trade the market and do it for my computer from anywhere in the world. But, but I don't have to leave my house. And that's what I'm saying. Every struggle that you go through, whatever, whatever it is, to get to the point where you can actually make money in the stock market and work from home with a computer and internet connection and charts, and that's all that you need, and a, and a live level too, when, when you get to that point, whatever the struggles are that it took you to get to that point, I am telling you 150%, a thousand percent, it is worth it. I've been out of the loop of normal people having to go to jobs and commute for so, so long that I've just forgot. And today I was reminded, I was reminded that today, and I think it was the reason, and the reason was to share it with all of you, and also to feel very grateful for my life and everything that I have, and not only that, the fact that I have a career that does not create so much stress in my life that I have to commute every day and deal with traffic and whatever, and weather. I, I know that trading can be stressful for people. I, I understand that. I mean, if you don't know what to do, it's stressful. Now, I know what to do, so it's not stressful for the most part for me. But every once in a while, it is stressful because I'm still risking money in order to make money trading. You can't make money trading unless you're willing to take risk. So when I take a trade, I risk a certain amount of money and then it either works or it doesn't. Now, obviously I'm making money in the market, so many, many times what I risk works and pays off and it's worth it, like today, for example, in the trade I did in the Mew. But I'm saying to you that there's the, the time limit of the stress that I go through is like, it's like a, it's like a dot. It's like a smidgen. It's not like it goes on and on and on and lasts for days and hours and weeks and months and years. The amount of stress that I do have when I take a trade is like so small. And then I know right away if it works or it doesn't. So again, getting back to what I was saying, it's so, so worth it because of the fact that it's still less stress to trade. If, if you can just keep pushing through and learn from someone like me who knows how to trade, I'm telling you 150%, it is worth it. And it just dawned on me today because I thought, gosh, well, what if I would have to deal with this kind of stress and traffic and commuting every day? I would, I would never look as good as I do <laughs> at, at, at my age if I had to deal with that stress because stress 
ages you and it ages the body and and thank goodness that I don't have to deal with that and I am grateful for my livelihood I am grateful for the US stock market I am so happy and proud that I know how to train and and it is a good good end of the year to 2015 for me to recognize what I'm grateful for if you, if you if you don't know how to trade yet I'm telling you press on okay take my class do another class whatever okay learn how to trade it's worth it once you get to that point and the other thing that's really interesting about me realizing this today was not just the fact that I'm grateful for the fact that I know how to trade but it's also feeling like everything that I've ever done has has been worth it and you know even though the road has been long and tough for me not only to learn how to train but then this year with everything with the television show I mean I know that it'll be worth it I know when you believe in yourself and you believe in your dreams and you know what they are and you're clear with that too if you press forward in the end it's worth it have a great holiday everyone and have a fantastic Happy New Year.